Last year, more than 2 million children under the age of 15 holidayed with their parents on board a cruise ship. So if you want to find out which ships do it best, keep watching. Hello and welcome to episode 28 of Planet Cruise Weekly. I'm joined by the wonderful but talented Jade from our wonderful and excellent sales team. Thanks for joining us, Hi, Jade. Hi, thanks for having me. No, it's great to have you back, fresh from last week mm -hmm. and of course the successes before that. Mm -hmm. And now we've got you back for your expertise on family. Although we are going to talk about cruise lines and what they individually offer you and what we kind of think are you know some of the best little features of each particular cruise line, we do want to give you some what we believe are really important tips. Uh, these are from people all around the office. We've got everyone involved uh, and of course, Many of the people that work here are parents, such as myself, so we're giving you our personal info as well. So Jay, we were chatting beforehand, and we both agreed on the first tip, which we think is probably one of the most important things to remember, and that is... Definitely plan and book early. Mm. It, family cabins fill up so fast, so already for next year, you're looking at three and four bath cabins getting full up already, so I can't stress enough to to kind of look, start looking as soon as possible. Yeah, you, you can't plan early enough, basically, when it comes mm. to a family a fa family cruise. Uh, the second one is it's a good idea, with, it's kind of linked into that as well, to pre-register. Um, it's something that we do, giving you a chance to uh, pre-register before that cruise goes live. So the moment it does go live, um, our team will be on the phone in the early hours of the morning to make sure you get the cabin you want. Plus you get loads of extra benefits like this. There's, there's a low deposit, more time to, you know, to, to pay it all off if you are being budget-minded. And also you get loads of extras as well. Um, so sometimes you get like free parking thrown in or, or maybe you get on board spend. So have a look at that, it's really, really crucial. And what I thought was quite a nice thing to do is to actually get your kids involved with the planning and the research and get them to look at what ports of call they're going to go to and what kind of things they can do so it really gets them excited and, and kind of in and with all the plans as well. Okay, then also the other thing is, yeah, is to select your cabin wisely. This is really, really important because it will depend on many things including budget, um, it will, you know, the age of your children, uh, where you particularly want to be on the ship. Uh, but do remember the companies like Norwegian Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, Carnival and Disney all have cabins that sleep five or six or in some cases eight people and so those particular lines do give you even more flexibility. Another good thing and a little tip that we picked up along the way is walkie talkies. Most ships will allow you to bring these on board so it's a great way of staying in touch without having the data roaming charges and a lot of the time mobiles mm. don't even work when you're at sea mm. so yeah walkie talkies is a good way of doing it or some cruise lines offer, which we'll talk about a bit later, deck phones which you can hire. Mm. So we'll go into that in a bit more detail later. And finally, um, you know, very often, particularly if you're heading out places like Caribbean or um, a lot of cruises actually, you might just want to be do a one week cruise and that's the most common kind of length of time. But maybe you've got two weeks holiday and if you're travelling quite far out to the US to pick the ship up, then maybe you want to combine that with a different kind of holiday as well and combine the land stay with the cruise. Um, so again, Planet Cruise can do this for you and it's things like uh, going, going out to Orlando. So there are lots of different options, but it's good to consider uh, teaming those two things up. Some of the things that you're going to find on all of them without fail are the fact that, um, the first of all, the, the children's facilities and the children's clubs that you have on board that are free for them to attend normally run between the ages of 3 to 17 and they're divided into three different age groups. They're also looked after by trained professionals, so they've gone through extensive training, you know they'll be well looked after. Uh, then we go to dedicated spaces, so each age group will have its own dedicated space, so your child will be with its peers and in a more comfortable environment. We've also got access to things like games consoles, they arrange things like video nights, treasure hunts, fashion shows, talent competitions. Right, now I think what we need to do is start talking about those particular lines and what really stands out for us at Planet Cruise. So the first cruise line we're going to look at is Carnival Cruise Lines and the reason for that is more children apparently cruise with Carnival than they do with any other cruise line, which is a nice little statistic. Um, it does have a super cool atmosphere for them, it's, a, it's kind of party, uh, relaxed kind of feel on board. You've got super cool water parks, you've got poolside theatres, loads of fun and casual eateries, great shore excursions for them to do as well, plus waterworks. Carnival generally have the kind of aqua parks on the top of the ships, mm. so water slides, dump buckets, uh, splash areas for the younger children and also things like mini golf, uh, basketball courts. 
Yeah, the kind of foosball tables as mm. well. Yeah, so loads of activities around the ship for them to get involved with. Plus Camp Carnival, which is their, in the sense that the name or the term they use for their organized kids clubs during the day, they actually start for children as young as two. That's quite rare. Most, the industry standard tends to be three, but obviously because it starts at two, it means um, that more parents are gonna have that support during the day if they wanna go off and uh, relax around the ship and maybe top up their town and have a cocktail. So they've collaborated with Dr. Zeus. Do you remember the cat in the hat? I do, I do. So they've got all the characters come out and mingle with all the children and they absolutely love that. And one of the real novelties of this is they do breakfast with ham and green eggs. Ooh, sounds absolutely delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now another thing we kind of gathered from, again, from all the parents in the office is that Carnival um, look after teens very, very well. Teens normally nowadays are, are put into two brackets. You've got the older teens, which are the 15 to 17 year olds, and then you've also got the tweens, I'm actually 12 to 14 year olds. Uh, and here at Carnival, they have like, like parties, they've got a dance floor with loads of high tech lighting, they've got their own hangout spaces, pizza places, t shirt decorating, game nights. Now, next up, we're going to talk about Disney Cruise Lines, and really, I suppose we'd all accept that they are the market leaders with this. They've been doing it for years and doing it very, very well. And of course, most children will be aware of uh, the Disney films and the wonderful characters they've given us over the years. Um, now, the ships are really, really well thought out, um, you know, not only for children, but also for adults. So even when you look at things like where the pools are positioned, you've got the, you know, the youngest uh, cruisers that can have their own pool on one side of the ship, the adult pool on the other side of the ship, and then in the middle, you've got the general pool for family use. So again, it's really, really, really clever. Disney Dream and Disney Magic also have a cool Pirates of the Caribbean themed evening. And there's fireworks as yeah. well, isn't there? It's absolutely incredible. And again, one of the only cruise ships really that include a live fireworks show. And um, there's also, of course, a Disney theatre, um, which features uh, traditional Disney shows and movies, and also sometimes airs um, new shows. So you can, you can catch a, an old Disney classic or even a new sneak peeky preview before it goes out anywhere else. Plus, Jade, you were mentioning, I thought this was really interesting. They've actually got a rotating restaurant, so there's a few different restaurants you can eat in, but one of them is a kind of Disney Pixar style with LCD screens, and there's like the turtles that come round and actually interact with the children and talk to them as they're eating, so it really makes sure that they're entertained and. Uh, it, it's just something real unique that none of the other cruise lines have got. You know, another thing I love, and your kids certainly will love, is the fact that, that even the play areas are themed with some amazing uh, kind of movie ideas. So for instance, you get Andy's room from Toy Story. Yeah, they've got the laugh room from Monsters Inc. Which is brilliant. <laughs> and they've also got, this is my favourite one, uh, they've got the incredible um, Avengers Academy. So you've got a shield command post where the kids mm. can interact with the Avengers through this virtual game. So really, really, really fun. That's really cool. They've also got a chargeable nursery for little ones, so ages three months to three years. That's open between 9am to 11pm, so the important thing to remember is do book this prior to sale because it gets full up. Definitely. Um, and then with staterooms, they have some of the largest accommodation at sea, really good selection, but some things we felt were really important to note here is some of the new things that they've entered to the industry. First of all, they've they brought in the privacy curtain which divides the living area through into a sleeping area and secondly, even more importantly, they have the bath and a half concept. You get a sink and a toilet in one and then a separate area with a shower tub combo and a sink. So next up is Royal Caribbean. Now Royal Caribbean are without a doubt the best cruise line for the amount of dedicated kids space that they've got on their cruise ships. You've got so much to do around the ship for families. Um, you know, so you've got things like the Flow Rider Surf Simulator, you've got bumper cars, you've got mini golf, you've got Johnny Rockets for kind of 1950s style luncheonette, which the kids absolutely love. And of course, you've got the ice skating rink as well. Yeah, I saw one of the ice skating shows and it was absolutely out of this world. And what they also do during the day, you can uh, skate actually on there as well at certain times of the day. That's so do brilliant. a bit of ice skating. Really, really cool. Uh, and then on top of that, you get super fast, dedicated internet. It's the fastest internet at sea, isn't it? But you know, all the kids are hooked to their phones at the moment. Exactly. So it, it really is a plus. Uh, you can also challenge Xbox Live gamers on other ships. Yeah, there's a dedicated gaming, gaming pod if you like, on board, and you can go in there and you can, you can actually stream and do online gaming, which again is a first in the cruise industry. The internet uh, is called Voom, and it really, really is excellent. Then when we come to the Royal Tots and the, and the Royal Babies programs, this is really good because when children are accompanied by a parent, if they're between six months and 36 months, um, you can go through and have this kind of um, service where you sit in the dedicated area and get a chance to play with your children. They also do a drop-off babysitting service, 
and in-cabin ba uh, babysitting is also available, but all of those carry a cost. Plus, which is probably I think my, my favourite thing, they do a toy lending service mm -hmm. for children up to the age of three. They've got this partnership going with Fisher Price, and you can take them back to your cabin. They've got lots of cabins that will hold kind of a whole generations of families, so five plus. So it may, may just be that they're into connecting like a balcony, connecting with an inside, connecting with an ocean view. So it really is good for the kind of large families who want to go away together. Now next up in our family review, we're looking at Norwegian cruise lines. Uh, they do something called freestyle cruising. It's really, really laid back. It's a great casual atmosphere, which makes it a perfect choice for families, particularly those that don't want to be held down to having to dine at a specific time. Um, and again, they want to make it a little bit more flexible. Uh, also, they've got a partnership with Nickelodeon, the, the well-known uh, children's channel. And so you get a chance to go along and have breakfast with people like SpongeBob SquarePants, who's a really interesting chap. Uh, and also take part in, in family game shows. Plus, there's loads to do around the ship, isn't there? Yeah, so much to do, like rock climbing walls, they've got abseiling, you've got bowling lanes as well as a circus school. I've always wanted to run away with the circus. So like to... <laughs> also on the Epic, they've got an impressive plunge bowl slide. It's like going down the plug hole. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, like all the way down. Yeah, that's about, that's about, two, that's about 200 foot, isn't it? The, the tube is incredible. And the, my favourite thing on Breakaway, which is one of their, their really most recent ships, they've got a twin freefall slide, which is the first in the industry. Norwegian are very good at running the team programme. And again, we're looking here for teams between 13 uh, to 17. They've got things like air hockey, they've got um, really cool video games and flat screen TVs, and a place called Entourage. And that turns into a nightclub in the evening, which is dedicated for them. So lots to do for the teens. There's lots of also small play areas for kind of nursery age children, for babies basically from six months to two years, where parents can come and interact with their children in these areas and uh, also a late night group babysitting service which is chargeable. But again, it's quite handy to have that facility available. Plus with Norwegian, you do get the largest selection of five and upwards staterooms. So between five people up to eight people with some of their cabins. Um, they give you a lot more choice as well with interconnecting staterooms, as Dave was talking about before, and single cabins as well. So if you have a, a relative that mm. maybe, you know, a gran or, or a granddad or kind of an aunt that wants to come along and wants to have her own space, uh, she can have that in one of the studio cabins with their own lounge, but still have that enjoyment of having a family holiday with the rest of you. And finally, last but by no means least, P&O, a good old uh, British cruise company, of course, owned by Carnival. Um, now, again, they don't have the huge water slides and everything that some of the other ones we talked about do, but they offer something that none of the others do, which I think is so, so good, and that is they have a night nursery. And this goes from uh, 6 p.m. through to 2 a.m. It's from ages of six months through to five years. Um, you drop your kids off and you're given a pager that will go off if you need to come back, and that's free. So although a lot of the other lines have that, you have to pay for it, but there it's absolutely free. So big tick uh, to P&O and also to Cunard, I know, who offer a similar service. Yeah, of course, you can also book your travel cots, your baby baths, your bottle stress sterilizers, and your food warmers, all of which, again, are free. Plus, they've brought uh, the famous iconic characters of people like Noddy and Mr. Bump back to entertain your children. And there's something very excitingly called Cirque Ventura, which I know Jade would love. You can do bungee trampolining, you can join a workshop to learn trapeze. Uh, or tightrope tight rope walking. Easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so loads to do there with P&O and some really, really big ticks. Well, we hope that that's given you a bit more of an idea about uh, what different cruise lines offer that's different from just the everyday nine to five things that you expect. And if you want to find out more as well about why cruises are such a great way for you to um, have a family holiday and all the benefits, then click the link just there. Now, one other thing we should mention as well um, is a big thank you to people because lots of people get in touch. How do they get in touch? So you can email us at hello at planetcruise.co.uk, contact us on Facebook, Twitter, or even comment on the YouTube post just now. Yeah, and again, we do love your feedback. Now, I want to say thank you to these people that have been in touch recently. Um, so first of all, Chris Bradley, he said, that love cruising, would never book with anyone but Mark at Planet Cruise. He's great, so helpful, and thoughtful to our needs. And he's got a big smiley face there as his emoji. So thank you very much, Chris Bradley. And then also Susan Batterson said, I've subscribed to your channel. Thank you, Susan. Please do subscribe. It means you get great regular updates. Um, and would love to see perhaps interviews with customers who can tell us in their words about their cruising experience. Now, Susan, I've got news for you. 
we've already got some of those interviews on the site, which is great. So if you click the link that's on the screen now, uh, it will take you through uh, to some of the wonderful people that have cruised with us before and continue to do so through into the future. Well, we hope you've enjoyed your overview of family cruising. And uh, for myself, Keith, and for my lovely Jade, goodbye. Bye-bye.